Greetings fellow dancers. In this video, I'm going to share with you another grid drill tutting exercise. And this one's called the bent arm tut drill. So very similar like how we did earlier with the long arm tut drill, exploring the grid points. In this one, we're going to do bent arm grid points and exploring and drilling all the ways we can tut with these bent arms. Now remember, this isn't every angle you can do in the grid exploration. This is just one way to do it, a sequence to give you that you can follow along and help train and drill in the points that you're going to stop along. These are the most common points you will probably do as you explore your tutting style. So here is the sequence. We're going to bring your hands at our sides and we're going to start by going out at the sides like this for one. Okay. This is a very strange angle for a lot of people here, but it's basically hugging the elbow to the side and having that flat angle there. Okay. So let's try that again. We go here, the sides and we go up to one. Then you're going to bring it forward to two and then bring it up to three. Okay. Try that again. Side, forward, up. Next, you're going to lift the elbows for four. Boom. Okay. Let's try it again from the top. Side, forward, up. Elbows up and then forearms forward. Halfway point. Okay. We don't go all the way out here. These are what I call halfway points. Because generally speaking, intuitively, most people would think to just open up, but there's a whole new realm here. Boom. So try to stop at that point there before we extend out. Okay. Let's try it again from the bottom. Five, six, and seven, eight. We go one, forward, two, bring it up three, elbows up four, halfway point five, all the way out six. Good. One more time. Five, six, and seven, eight. We go sides on one, forward on two, bring it up three, elbows up four, halfway point five, straight out six. Next, bent seven over here. After seven, we're going to go over the head on eight. Eight is over the head. And the last one is bringing it down all the way to one. All right. So let's start over from the bottom five, six and seven, eight. We go one forward on two, bring it up three elbows up four, halfway point five, all the way out six, bend up seven, overhead eight, bring it down one. And that is the first sequence for the bent arm angles. So once you've memorized that, do your best to try it at a specific timing. Here is a beginner timing to try it out with. So we'll start with this tempo. We go five, six, and seven, eight. We go one, forward on two, bring it up three, elbows up four, halfway point five, all the way out six, bring it up seven, overhead eight, bring it down one. Now let's try it in reverse. Bring the hands in front like this. Let me go over the head on one, bring it out two, flatten out three, halfway point four, bend it in five, elbows down six, halfway point seven, all the way outside eight, bring it down one. It's always good to train forward and then backwards as well, just so that you don't get too locked in on one way of doing it. You want to make sure that you are going both pathways to really train this drill. Okay. Let's try it in reverse one more time. From here, we go over the head one out to the side two straight out three forward halfway four, bring it in five elbows down six. Halfway point seven to the sides eight, bring it down one. All right, now let's try to count forward and backwards. 
to a mid-slow timing. So we'll start with this. Five, six, five, six, and seven, eight. We go one, bring it forward two, bring it up three, halfway four, halfway point five, all the way out six, halfway point seven, over the head eight, bring it down one, reverse. Five, six, and seven, eight. We go one, overhead, side, two, straight on three, halfway on four, bend on five, elbows down six, halfway point seven, side point eight, bring it down one. All right, good job if you made it this far. Again, make sure that you're stopping perfectly on those grid points, okay? You don't want to end up crooked or off the grid at some point here or here. Okay, when you come to this one, watch out for these ones here too. This can often land like this or like this for most people. So try to have super straightness as best as you can. And then for over the head, try to have opposite palm touch opposite shoulder or be in that general vicinity. Okay, because sometimes people will stop there. Okay, or maybe even go too much. Okay, try to be as overhead as best as you can. All right, let's test your midway point speed. That's gonna go like this. Five, six, five, six, seven, go. We go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, down, one. Backwards. Five, six, seven, go. We go one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one. Again, five, six, seven, eight, go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, down one. Reverse, seven, eight, go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one. Good job. All right, now for the final test, the super speed half count timing. And it would look like this. One and two and three and four and five. All right, see if you can do it. Five and six and seven and eight. We go one and two and three and four and five. Reverse. Five and six and seven and go. We go one and two and three and four and five. Let's try it again. Five and six and seven and eight. We go one and two and three and four and five. Backwards. Five and six and seven. Let's go. We go one and two and three and four and five. Good job if you made it this far. That is the final speed test for the bent arm tutting drill. So continue to train that, practice it slow, make sure you're getting it down right and you're stopping at those perfect moments. Watch out for those halfway points as well. Those tend to be the areas people mess up most, okay? And test yourself to see if you can get it faster and faster and more and more accurate. All right, that about concludes it for this training video. I wish you all peace and happy dance training. Whew.